G'day viewers. I was hoping that would go into my other startup video, but it didn't. Oh well, sad news to hear there, Michael. I hope you uh, get better very quickly. Today you might hear a bit of background noise because my family's not going to be quiet two days in a row and I'm not asking them to, so if you hear some stuff, eh, whatever. Anyway, it's a public holiday here today. I wanted to test my scenario and I thought, why don't I just stream it? So I went with the old five minute intro to see if I hooked anybody in and there's a few of you, so fantastic. Welcome to the stream. We're going to be running a 8F relief train. So we're going to be taking a train of empty cars to crew. But we don't want to be in too much of a hurry because there's a normal service train out in front of us. And I think the way the scenario worked out, this actually wasn't quite the plan, but I liked it. So I left it this way. The uh, Even a freight train gets in front of us. All right, let's get our locomotive ready. We've got the small ejector open. We've got plenty of water in the boiler. We have no firemen. And there goes the freight train that's going to get in front of us. That's okay. Let's get the cylinder cocks open. Let's get the brakes off. Large ejector open to make that happen. And a little bit of steam, and that'll get us moving. And I'm just turning that down for my ears, because safety bell. All right, we're driving the wonderful blue LMR 8F. And behind us is a nice crimson Jubilee. I had to look and see how many wheels I've had, because, you know, with the coloured ones, it's hard to tell. There we go. We are moving. I've been sitting for a while, so I'll just leave the cylinder cocks open for a bit. Bring the reverser back a bit. And away we go. This scenario will go on to Creators Club. This will, uh, I hope, be my final test run. And I hope everything works okay this time. We shall see, won't we? And Michael says he was playing with the kids in his apartment complex, went to run after one and everything went bad. Got three steps in and my lower half gave out on me. Well, that's terrible. I hope it's um, nothing particularly serious, mate. That doesn't sound good at all. Fortunately, we have trains to play with to take our mind off life's things. So I wanted to have a look at this bridge, because I think... Yeah, steam comes through it. Okay, I need to, to add that to my report list. Green signal. That won't last for long, I don't think. There's the uh, freight heading around the other side of the yard there. We'll see it again shortly. It kind of surprised me that it actually puts the freight in, part of, in front of a declared passenger train, but it does, and that's okay. As you can see, we've got a red, but there's no distance. We don't know anything about it yet. So we won't be slowing down much yet, but we're not going real hard. Let's just stay in the cab for a moment. Let's get our windows open. Invisible fireman shoveling invisible coal into the quite visible firebox. We should see a red signal any moment now. I'm glad you're enjoying it, Michael. It's really good. I have got two keys to give away for the Spirit of Steam. I have a PlayStation key and I have a Steam key. I'll be giving away the uh, PlayStation key on this weekend's stream. I'm not so sure about the Steam key. I haven't really made any plans for that one yet. I can finally see our red signal, so I've cut off. We're going uphill, and we're not going very fast, so I'm not in a massive hurry to break. But what I will do before I break is I want to lift the little hook. 
Alright, now let's get the brakes on. Actually, I should lift the little hook when I release. Now we just have to sit here and wait for that red signal. There's no point having the injector open. So there's a normal service train out in front of us, and then there's that little freight train. And I had to make an adjustment the last time I ran, because it got stuck. That's okay. Let's get away from the locomotive while it's being noisy. Yeah, the brakes aren't too bad to get used to. It would be nice to be able to apply the steam and the vacuum brake independently, but that just wouldn't be reality. You can uh, hold the steam brake while you release the vacuum brake, though. All right, the freight train's just gone through that station. I think it's sitting up at its signal, because, of course, it's waiting behind the service train. And soon we should see another one pop around the corner here before we get to go. Now, this is all about real railways. This is called hurry up and wait. I can't go that way. I want to go 8 key then. Let's go have a look. Let's go see what's going on. So there's a couple more trains waiting in here. This one's trying to get to Liverpool, but it can't at the moment. This one's trying to get to the Edge Hill sidings, and it's sitting there waiting for another train to come out. And he's sitting here at his signal. Now I can see that the service train has left the station up ahead, so this one should get a green shortly. Ah, it just takes practice, Michael. You'll get there. Break light and gradually increase. Vacuum brakes take a while, and if you just go hard on with them, um, they're hard to recover from too, because they're very slow to recover. Hopefully this guy will get his green soon. Otherwise I'm going to have to fly up there and see what's going on. The other one should be clearing the track circuit pretty soon. Hello Chicago, how are you? A hello and a hello retracted. How about that? Hello Mark B. Hope you're having a pleasant Monday over in New Zealand. I just thought I'd uh, do a bit of an ad hoc stream since I wanted to test this scenario again. And I'm now wondering if it's working. Oh, there we go. Okay, so the AI train in front of us gets going. Let's get away from our train a little bit because it's noisy. Whee. We'll go over here. Watch it from this side of the signal. So we can see when the signal comes off. So our premise is that we're driving a empty cars, more or less express service. We've got two stops at Run Corner and Allerton to make. And out in front of us, there's a normal service train. And something that happened during creation of the scenario is a freight train, which was the original player train. And I think if you change the player train, the other one keeps priority, which is interesting. Um, it sneaks out in front of us as well. So it's gone out in front. And I will be, hopefully, whoops, there we go, we can move. All right, now I want to get the little hook, and I'm going to release the main brake, but I'm holding the steam brake. That lets the back of the train just stretch out. I could have done that before, I suppose. All right. You're on your computer. Now, fortunately, that little bloke has to wait for us, which might be a little while, because we're on a hill. And I should, hopefully, be able to release that now. Come on. Off you go. No. Drop your hook. No. Drop your hook. There we go. Now we should move. If we don't wheel spin. Come on. It's on a bit of a heavy grade here. May take just a moment. Probably should have stopped closer to the signal. Let's just put down some sand as well. Hello, Neil TV8. Oh, there we go, finally. I'm just struggling on a 
steep start here. Welcome to the stream, Neil TB8. If you haven't had a look at uh, Neil's channel, please do. All right. Get the cocks closed. Now, this won't be a massively quick trip to crew because we're going to be running into yellow and red signals all over the place, I think. A bit like the little bloke that's going to follow us because that uh, 9F there... Sorry, not a 9F. 09 is going to follow us. signal to drop again. It does take a long time for them to drop sometimes. I think this one had gotten his path too, but he's just come out of the station. He hasn't done anything else though. He's stuck at a signal as well. He'd be there for a while. There's a bit of stuff coming out behind me. I'll just turn that down so I don't shout at you. Uh, Chicago tried to do the 820 service with the ATF and ended up stalling instead of moving. Does a 820 service have any grey wagons in it or a mixture of grey and red wagons, Chicago? If it has a mixture of grey and red ones, you need to manually release the brakes on the red ones by pulling the... Uh, hello, NJT. By pulling on the cord. Yes, we're driving a relief train to crew. We're taking a... Taking a set of coaches up to crew for them to use later in the day. That's the premise. Oh, great. That's good, NJT. And we're following a normal service train which has got a freight that sneaked out in front of us as well. So it's not going to be the quickest trip to crew in the world, but it should be fun. So I thought I needed to test it. And there's a yellow light. It's a double yellow. So I needed to test it before I upload it to Creators Club. So I thought, yeah, it'd be fun. Why not just stream it? We're going to play it anyway. I want to use enough steam to uh, keep the safety valve closed. Because it gets a bit loud when that pops. For some bizarre reason, my phone started playing a video on YouTube. How weird. So, welcome along, folks, to the ad hoc stream. I mentioned earlier, but I will have, uh, I have a PlayStation key and I have a PC key to give away. I haven't quite decided how I'm going to do that yet, but we'll see. The PlayStation one I'm definitely giving away next Sunday. I, whoa, that's a red signal. Oh, I'm not going to make it. Guess who's starting again? Guess he wasn't watching. Guess he was talking too much. Replay scenario. Sigh. I'll take longer to get going this time so we don't have to wait at the signal for so long. That was embarrassing. Uh, sigh. Sigh. All right then, let's try that again. This time I'm gonna watch. Chicago is going to install some sound mods for TSW2. Need some assistance on how we should do it. Um, I use the mod manager from Train Sim Community when I do that. Let me get you a link.
I use use the site that's right there. You can get it from Train Sim Community too. You don't have to download it from the German site if you don't want to. But it's the same software. Right, so this time I'm going to pay attention and not spad. And I won't be in such a hurry either, because, you know, if I'm in a hurry, well, I'll come up to that red signal again, because, of course, the freight's going to beat us out. And he's just sitting up there, so we'll go just fast enough. In fact, why is he sitting up there? He's not moving. Oh, there he goes. It's moving again. I wonder what it stopped for. There's no signal there, I don't think. Hmm. Interesting. There's plenty of railways that still have semaphores now. Some of our Melbourne lines still have semaphores. Jump in the cab, get the window open. Oh, open the roof vent as well. Actually, you know what I haven't done? I haven't done head codes. Let me look up my head codes. What should it be? What should it be? What should it be? It's a good question. LMS head codes, that's what I want. Uh, express pass to track limits. Fast freight, express freight, express freight, right angle is my freight thing. Freight, express freight. Alright. Well, we're going to say it's an express passenger, even though we're not really. So let's go and set that up just while we're cruising up to this red signal that we know is red. There doesn't seem to be one for um, stock transfer, so I'll just run it as an express passenger. Because it is passenger stock after all. We'll just watch our little 8F cruise along here. Enjoying the uh, much louder track joint sounds that we have now. The clacky clacky. That will certainly shut up some miscreants who have nothing better to do with their lives than complain about train simulators. Uh oh, there goes the safety valve. So at this point, this driver won't be able to see this signal, so he doesn't know to stop. But I think of what I'll do this time, I might just um, brake with just a steam brake. Let's see if we can do that. I've never tried that before. We should try that. Uh, NJT, no, there are no AWS ramps. Well, maybe we should put all the lamps on NJT. It's blue, after all. That's a royal colour. I believe purple is the Queen's colour, but uh, blue is still a royal colour. Still cruising along. No idea we're going up to a red signal. I think that spat I had before was kind of funny because I actually said, hey, look, a double yellow, I have to stop. And then I didn't. Like a bonehead. So up we go, back up the hill. We'll see the red one in a moment. Gonna hop back in the cab because I want to stop in a different way this time because I just want to see. Well, there's our signal, so I'll do it after we've stopped. But I'm going to get up a bit closer to the signal this time. The driver's gone. Oh no, it's red. Pull the steam brake on and press the little hook up. That should do it. That should stop us and let the carriages just roll backwards. So they should be all nice and stretched out. It should be easier to make them start. And in the meantime, let's go and watch the other trains. Oops. Where's our little freight fella? Oh, he's already nicked off.
fact, our little freight guy is uh, already waiting at the next signal by the looks. This was my original player train. Hey, look, he's lost his livery. Hmm. I thought I had this one in the WD livery. Oh, actually, I remember I deleted it and re-added it to try and get rid of it being the player train. So we'll just sit here and watch the AI take off when he does, because he shouldn't be far away. And coming up down there should be... Little 09 as well. Real soon now, because the train's gone from the platform up there, and I know the next signal's not very far away. It's only about a half mile. More waiting. There he goes. With his distinct, like, chuffing. Sometimes they chuff and sometimes they don't. Weird. But anyway, back to our train. NJT wants all the lamps on, so let's... Let's annoy people and put all the lamps on. There we are, we're now the royal train. The royally empty train. And we have a safety bell blasting away. There we go, there's our green. Two under cocks and sand. Let's get a bit of steam going. Should have put the reverser all the way forward before I did that. And release the brake. Which is hooked up again. But it's okay, it's starting to move anyway. Bring that to about the 65. We've got some sand going so we don't slip. It's a little bit weird to me that the ATF is more prone to slipping than the, uh, the 6P. Because I would have thought the ATF with its smaller wheels would be less prone to slipping, but it seems not. And there's a little 09 with its car set. Stolen from WSR. See, I wanted to make this a bit of fun and make it sort of a transition time, given that we're in the late 50s. And I tried to be smart about it and only choose diesels that were actually available for the 50, for this time frame, for late 50s, early 60s. Yesterday's run, I had some that really shouldn't have been there, and they're gone now. They have been replaced. caught a glimpse of that red through the station building by now. It's interesting that even in the late 50s that there were abandoned stations. This one obviously recently abandoned because it's still got all of its street furniture. Ah, we've had a green. Very good. What did you find, Chicago? Yes, NJT, the Royal Train that has no priority at all. It's following a freight. It's just following a service. And pretty soon, there'll be a little 09 following us, that one down there. So it follows the same path. And even he's waiting for his signal. There's people waiting for signals all over the place. I've been very mean. Actually, thinking about it, that 09 down there and this guy might actually be at a stalemate, because I think that 09 is supposed to be heading towards Runcorn. They may not be able to move, those two. Oh, you found Metro stuff. Liveries or uh, something else? Sorry passengers, no ride for you. Oh, we've 
we've seen the yellow, so this time we're going to behave. We're going to start slowing down. Night, NJ to you. Liveries, then, or have you found a scenario or something? There are some public er editor scenarios now. Yeah, it looks like we've had a reprieve from that red, but we wouldn't know that yet because we can't see it. So I will uh, keep doing this speed until we actually can. Take the top view. That one. A bit annoying with the safety valve going off, but that's okay. Yeah, that's a bit sad. I can't see signals from this view. That's no good. Let me back down. Let me down. Yeah, I see the signal now. How did it wreck? Did it hit a car? Yeah, that's very sad. Driver okay, hopefully. Driver and conductor. Being America, they still have this quaint idea that they need more than one person in a locomotive. Oh, and this one's still red. Let's not do it again. Why did that one go green and this one go stay red? Come on, you. Stop. 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 Oh, no. Oh, no. <sighs> I don't like that other signal. That's a bug. Because that other signal should not have cleared. Because it's a repeater for the one at the end of the platform. That's a bug. I'm going to have to report that. And now I have to do it again. So it wasn't actually me the first time. Interesting. All right. You know what to do, train. Just do it. Let's get out of here. Take three indeed. Hello, Farrah29. You realise that's the second time I've actually done that. Can someone remind me when that signal clears to keep the brakes on, please? In case I don't remember. Alright then, take three. It's going to be a good hard scenario, isn't it? People are either going to love it or hate it. Just while he's heading off super slowly, because there's no point being fast. This train will be following us, and I bet you it doesn't run through the signals. This one follows us before that one. And this one sits here till 12 o'clock, so it won't leave before then. But I just thought we needed to have it. it seemed like fun. Yes, you've missed the other two spads. Well, actually, no, you only missed one spad. You caught the last one. When I was very clever. Only an idiot falls for the same trap twice. That'd be me, then.
So this time we'll just quietly cruise through the yard. If I go slow enough, we won't have to stop on the hill. But I don't want to go so slowly. Actually, what I'll do is I'll brake a little bit and accelerate a bit. Let's just bring the ejector to halfway. That'll keep us going slowly, but keep the uh, safety valve from going off. That might be working a bit too well. Yep, we are actually going to stop. That's okay. Ooh, spins. Come on, Chuffer. Off you go. You know you want to. You swear Metra has to be the new US route. What makes you think that? Any and all speculation, welcome. Feel free. Looks like our freight's made it up the hill over there. So this is a good speed, so we don't have to stop this time. I think I lost a few people in disgust when I had the second spread. Because <laughs> Neil told you. How would Neil know? Be interesting to see what it is. And why do you think that, Michael? I have to get a bit more oomph before we can stall. There's still red up there. the last route, Sherman Hill. And I guess the one before that would have been Boston, wouldn't it? We haven't gotten a seller for Boston yet. I kind of thought that would have happened by now. Fair enough. That's a good a reason as any. I mean, Chicago's reason is that he wants it. <coughs> they didn't really get a worldwide license. They just came to a recognition they don't actually need one. Because it's not a worldwide brand. Not in the context of trains, anyway. BNSF does exist outside of the US, but it's a different organisation. They've got nothing to do with trains and their trademark wouldn't be applicable. Yeah, I wouldn't mind having a seller on Boston. I think that would be fun. The route would be over it all too quickly with them with the seller on there though. A little bit faster than the other ones. Up the hill we go again. Four signals from SPAD. Or one if I miss my timing. Is the 9 turned up yet? No, the 09 hasn't come out yet, so it won't be time for this signal to change. Uh, we're 
we're going to be hearing that boring safety valve again shortly. Bit of brakes on. Now we just sit here and wait. One thing I would love to have on steam engines is pops and crackles and the sound of the fire. Because this close you would hear things like that, but not yet. But our time, it will come. And here comes the 09. So if the 09's here, it's time for our signal to change, and it just did. Cylinder cock, sand, whistle, reverser, full forwards, and give it a moment to do that. And we're out of here. Three signals from SPAD. When I say we're out of here, real soon now. Why would uh, 662 be weird, Chicago? And Chicago's other route that he would like, it's his most rail fan route, would be the Milwaukee District North. Chicago to Fox Lake. Come on, train, you can do it. Lift it. Lift it. You know you want to. Did the brakes actually come off? They did. Oh, my game to give it a bit more. Let's give it a tiny bit more. And hope it doesn't flip. There we go. I always knew that um, wheel slip was a bit disastrous for your fire, but I didn't realise how much. It basically tumbles it all around on the grate and makes all these holes in it. And if you don't get the door open quickly, it wrecks your fire completely. Right. Take three. I had wheel slip last time. Didn't get any this time. So I'd say hello to his mate as he goes past here. I shall look a bit later on. Because funnily enough, I don't want to spat again. For some funny reason. I never noticed there was railway wheels there before. Just dumped there. What about that? Dirty railway. Gonna get the safety valve again, unfortunately. No ride for you people. Sorry. Yes, indeed, Michael. And this time we're not going to get tricked. I hope. There's that sneaky green again. Why are we stuck? There we go.
I know why we're stuck, because I didn't have the large ejector open, I need a small one. So when I braked, it braked a little more effectively than I was planning. That's okay. What do you reckon's going to happen this time? Who's got money on spade? Excuse me, munching a biscuit in front of you. Now, what kind of signal is it up there? Go have a look. Yeah, so that should be a high repeater for that. They should be showing the same thing. And they are clearly not. That is not good. You, either you're naughty or the other one's naughty. We shall see. I kind of think it's a bug, Farrah, because this signal is a repeater. At least I think it is. I could be wrong. I want to release those brakes. And just keep rolling until we can see the next one. But not quickly. I will ask on the the um, beta forum later. I'll find out. But to me, gut feel says that's wrong. You know, is the other one still red? No, green now. Bang it, James. I wonder if I'll get any more surprises like that. Meanwhile, there's another train. Which pulled into the platform while I wasn't paying attention to it. I better put that in the um, scenario description to watch out here. At Mossley Hill. Is the station called Mossley Hill or is it called something else? Oops, wrong way. I think this... Yep, yeah, Mossley Hill. That's what I thought. So we'll cruise along. We should see plenty more trains. I'm just hoping I manage to hold on to my path. Because at some point, we should... Oh, there he is. I was about to say, at some point, we should be passed by a real express. And there he is. Parallel running. run to these two. Or does the other guy stop here? I can't remember. It looks like he's stopping. Got my screenshot just in time then. And we have another green up ahead. 
So we should see him again soon, because he should be quicker than us. Because he's not worried about running into signals, like I am. quite sure how fast the freight will run but it's got a passenger service that's stopping at every station in front of it so we'll see I don't want to get too quick because that would just get messy here comes our other guy again Another train dutifully waiting in the station to depart. And this one's a thirty one pulling a pair of one oh ones. Because I could. Another red. Time to start breaking. Not that I really should start breaking yet, because I haven't seen any indication of this red personally. I need the hub. Where's my sneakies train at speak? Oh, I hope it has gone. I hope it didn't get out in front of me. That would be annoying if that got out in front of me. No, it didn't get out of front of me, it's stuck at a red signal. And we're about to be too. Who's it going to let go first? That's the question. Here comes another 31 on full fang. It's letting the freight out in front of us. What? with its modern steel train. I should probably fix that. It's not meant to be a modern steel train. I chose the wrong thing, obviously. And there's another train waiting up there at this very busy junction as well. Excellent. No, the freight's definitely coming onto our line. Ah, we have no priority at all, that's clear. That's okay. I don't know what railway would hold two passenger trains for a freight. Apart from American ones who are mad at Amtrak. the best way to get this photo. I need to grab screenshots for the scenario you see when I upload it. Oh well, at least there's not many hills on the way to crew, so if he's out in front of us.
Off goes our friend. We may be a little while. Actually, since we have to wait here anyway. And now we wait a bit more for that freight to clear the block. I think I made this scenario too well. There we go. No, oh, you wanted wheel slip. There it was. There we go. Now we've got three trains in front of us on the way into crew. This would be reality because an empty coaching stop transfer. Oh, there's ballast on the tracks. But an empty coaching stop transfer would be the uh, lowest form of scum. Looks like we both get to stop at the next one. Bonus. And I know it's not my streaming day, but that's okay. Yeah, you just sit there and we'll slip your heart out. it's going to go anywhere? <laughs> Maybe we should give it some vacuum and then it'll be able to move. Not that I think I should move yet because I can't see that signal which means it should have a repeater or be really tall so you can see it over the bridge. So we'll just chuff ahead until we can see it. Nice and gentle. And put up with the noisy thing. Ah, we have a green.
mind you, if I was being a little bit realistic about that, I wouldn't have been able to see it yet. See, that's actually got two on it, which means you should be able to see the tall one over the bridge. That's the whole point of having a tall one. That's a bit sad, isn't it? Night, Chicago. Where's that at? That's it. One hour. We have another red, but we've got 1.9 miles, so that's fine. I just hope those trains don't pile up at crew and stop me getting in there. The two freights should go into the freight guard, so they should at least get through crew, and I'm going into platform three, and the other one's going into platform four. Hopefully it'll be okay. We shall see. I think this is my slowest trip to Runcorn ever. <laughs> this could take a while. Abandoned platform. And there went a child on an illegal petrol powered bicycle. Four point six miles to run corn. And the next signal's gone green too. That's good, the train's in front picking up speed. I suppose there's a bit of distance between passenger stops here. Green on the next signal, which is good. And this one's got a proper repeater, which is nice. This is a distant signal. So it's not strictly a repeater for the signal, these ones, but that first one is. What do you think, cow? We're gonna make it this time? Yeah, that's good. I'm on a bit of a roll now, but I'm just reluctant to pick up too much more speed, to be honest. Say hello to we signalman, mate. big smoking symbol up here.
and yellows. I've got a double yellow, but my next signal's green on the HUD. That's interesting. I'm going to slow down anyway. Given how long it takes this thing to slow down. So let's sit in there at about 20 miles an hour, we'll be fine. Are there any people in my empty stock? No. Excellent. Does this mean I'm going into... Um, this is Allerton, isn't it? Yes. Does this mean I'm going into Allerton ahead of the Express? Oh. Dispatcher, what are you doing today? Freights in front of passengers? Empty cars in front of Expresses? What's going on? But that's okay. In fact, let's go racing up ahead here. To get ourselves a nice bit of video of this. So, face off, record. That next signal, that looks green to me. There's another train held up here. Excellent. The dispatchers holding all sorts of passenger trains to let me through. That's funny. But putting freights in front of me. That's just weird. Looks like we're going into Runcorn first. So they'll be following me all the way now. All those trains. There's about six of them. Oh, Michael, I did get to see the transporter thing move. I even recorded it. And it moved at about eight past nine, so you were quite right. Funny the day that kid gets done by the coppers and he gets an $857 fine for riding an unregistered motorcycle. You can see the signal up there is green, it even agrees with the hug. So we should be able to go straight into Runcorn, which is our. We are going to stop in Runcorn briefly.
now that I've seen it move once, I'll probably see it moving every time I look at it. Because, you know, randoms like that. There's some really interesting curves around here that look a bit too tight for me. To me, it looks like you probably couldn't get through them. Turn off my mic while I eat biscuits. Certainly not moving this time. It's actually a bit weird. I think the deck of the thing's too high. You wouldn't be able to drive on and off it. Oh, I'm glad there's no collision on these beams. down there in the canal. I had to put stops into this or the signals would get locked up after run corner. I had to put in two. train. Don't know if anybody get in because we're a special. Looks like a no. leave him to do his thing and come up here. He sounded like he honked, didn't he? smacked over onto this side. And there's not so many stations after run corn, so I'm hoping we can do a decent run now. Maybe it only moves once a day, Michael. That would be interesting.
Hopefully we can do a decent bit of run speed now. I'll still have to run this one more time after we finish this because I've got to change that unexpectedly modern diesel into something a little bit older. I'd gotten rid of all the modern ones, but that one was not. Got a green on the distant as well as a green on the local. So no, they're both distance. Comes another train. Another 101. And I got smacked into the guards van. How are we going, invisible fire person? Doing alright? Handbrake's not on, is it? Oh, good. Here the household vacuum cleaners come to attack me. Wonderful little robot it is. And it's brought me a toy rabbit. One of the cat toys. It doesn't look like the vacuum's coming through on the microphone, so hopefully you guys can't hear it. So whoever it was who just joined the stream, we're driving an 8F, pulling a uh, train of empty coaches, doing a relief train to crew. We've had an entertaining start because we got stuck behind freight trains and stopping passenger trains and all sorts of things. But we seem to be getting a better run now. That's good, that means my noise filter actually works. green on the stick. The next one's green as well, so I can keep going at a reasonable speed. This is good. Yes, Michael. Thank you for reminding me. It was only twice. And I wish you could load at the last checkpoint. I have a faint suspicion we're not going to see too many trains coming past us from crew because here comes the next 101. I don't think there's anything after this one. surprised if we're not catching up with the train in front of us by now. Unless the AI of that original 8F is being naughty. Because it's got unfitted stop, so it should only be doing 35 mile an hour. I'm 
going to put on a little bit of brake because I'm going a bit quick myself. Okay, a lot quick. Open up the regulator again to shut up the noisy thing. Now our little robot is actively attacking my chair. I'll let the brakes off now that I've succeeded in slowing us down. I know you're supposed to close the large injector, but I kind of like keeping it half open because you can half apply the bricks. It's nice. Handy. Now the green for the little junction. Very early example of a flyover junction. What color is that signal? Oh, it's green, it's alright. And so is that one. Oh, good. Happy now. worried for a moment there. Didn't really want to spat again. Not after this long. Green again. You know, I turned off the hard, but I didn't think to turn off my head going to record that for a promo but that's life it's a nice bridge that one a nice part of the route My question is, 70 years later, is this still like this, or is it all built up with houses? It's funny how the boom camera smacks and gets lifted up and then drops down again. 
See, this tall signal I can see over the bridge. This is how they're meant to work. Vaguely like our fireman's window shut. Jeez. Oh, I'm supposed to stop here, aren't I? Lots of brakes. We have a green at least. Overreaction on my part. Welcome to the Fuzzy Acton Bridge, where the sign's not lodding in soon enough. This is a very pretty station at night this time. I'll open the doors, but I don't think anyone will get in. Even though we're going where they want to go, because there's not really anywhere else they can go unless they want to go to Winsford. No need to open the cylinder cocks this time, because uh, it's been working all the way here. There we go. forward to the day that the smoke and steam are affected by wind. That's going to be good. And off we go to crew. And we still have three trains in front of us. Four, I think, actually. Won't get any passing us anymore because I don't think the game uses these other tracks up through here at all. I've never seen anything on them. get close to the rocks it won't let me
that worked better than I thought it might with such a long train. there one of the few signals that's on the right hand side of the track no I was wrong there is another train maybe this is the last 101 Watch behind Mr. Shiny Head here. It's kind of funny, I changed to this avatar just before the um, big update came out. Prior to... what was it? It was the summer release. Prior to all the commuter stuff. Rush hour. And then you can't change it back. right out in the countryside now. at that time. I wonder what that stuff's growing is. Is that the loser? It looks like a crop of some kind. All this industrial stuff up here always makes me think we're getting close to crude. Of course we're not. Ten miles to go. It's odd, isn't it? An Aussie eating Swiss biscuits that aren't made in Switzerland.
safe for a little while. I'm curious how many trains are following us. There's one. Mm, I was expecting more than that. Maybe I didn't send them all the way through. I really wish the 8 key would pop out in the direction the train's facing. Welcome to Winsford, folks. of good rail fanners and banana still all green signals I'm being kind to my ATF. Ooh. It got out of the world. One more screenshot for the promo. Little green signals, good to see. Whoops, that signal is not green. Or is that not from my track? Let's go have a look. No, it must be for that one. Where's my next signal? Well, the HUD says that's green. I wouldn't have thought so, but anyway. I'm guessing that signal up there under the bridge is my next one. Well, we didn't spad. I still find it hard to read the semaphores. Sometimes I get it, and sometimes I don't. Which is funny, because I operate in a semaphore-operated railway, you know, a real one. And those ones, I get the rules. But I've also been involved with operating the trains for a really long time, so... fast for an ATF. So just do a gentle brake application to slow us down a little. Shh. 
ships in the night. Except that they're sheep and it's daytime. Nitpicking. Long to crew now. In Scenario Planner, I would really enjoy it if there were some more opportunities to put trains on the track at this end of the route because there aren't many, so it's hard to make it seem populous. And we've got 2.2 miles to a yellow signal, which is probably about right because that would be the approach to crew. I just hope after coming all this way I can actually get into crew and finish the scenario. That would be good. Then I can fix that diesel and then maybe I'll go and run another Ethernet cable through the house and then I'll run it again. I'm debating whether I take all of the uh, creator cup liveries out of it. Because I have noticed if you grab a scenario and it says you've got all the required content, it's only checking the routes. And if you don't have the Creators Club content as well as the root content, or the DLC content, then you still can't play the scenario. Did you ever think we'd make it, cows? Good to know. Now I'm hoping this yellow it's just because I'm approaching crew and not because I'm going to get stuck outside crew. again. Use enough steam to make it make the safety valve close. So far, so good. I might actually get into the station.
Almost there. My chat's gone very quiet, but I can see there's a few people still around. And that does actually speak volumes for this end of the route, I suppose, because it's not that interesting to play, which means it's not that interesting to stream, which means it's not that interesting to look at either. That could be some good feedback, I guess. Like, what was that? What was that? What did I see? Huh. They're gone now. It was something just floating in the air, a graphic element, but it disappeared when the train came past. Hmm. Interesting. as well Mark B. Very good. I would dearly love to be able to stage a whole lot of stuff around here in these yards, even if it didn't go anywhere during the scenario. It's so empty. And it is going to let me into the station. I'm happy now. Farrah, 4 a.m. Wow. <laughs> now, where's the other passenger train that I sent in here? It's disappeared. I always thought they just sat at their final location. No, keep going. Or don't. See if I care. <laughs> oh well, that went alright. After the second spad. Let's not forget the second spad, because you know, if I forget it, I'm sure that someone would remind me. Hi Michael. <laughs> anyway, that worked pretty well. So, I'm just going to go and edit this thing. I'm not going to make you watch me play it again. I could. I'm not quite that mean, because what I want to change is that diesel, that's the one, the 47, and sadly I need to go and edit its timetable and do all of these things, but I couldn't select a new, didn't even give me a chance, did it? Do you edit timetable where you choose the confirm end marker? Confirm service. There we go. That's better. Oh, what should we put there? Class 20s are quite modern, aren't they? I think. When did Class 20s come into service? Let's Google it. Oh, it's a rail freight Class 20 though, isn't it? Uh, do, 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 do. 1957, so we can have a class 20. All right. What's a PGA hobby, you reckon? It's probably something horrible and modern because it's rail freight. What have we got in the class 31s? What can they do? So they all look pretty modern too, don't they? I want something older, really. 33 green, can have Mark 1 coaches. I suppose we could have coaches appearing out of the yard. That would make a certain amount of sense. And these are all modern cars. What about 37.5? More modern cars. All modern. 
plus 40. Oh, tank cars have been around for a long time. Well, vans. Let's go with vans. 12 ton vans. I like that idea. Because the 40's old enough. It's the wrong livery. It should be green, but that's okay. All right, then. Now, I obviously have to play it again, but you guys don't need to hang around and watch. Unless you feel like hanging around and watching. Now, to qu actually, a question for you lot while I've got you. If you don't have the custom liveries, it looks like it won't let you play the scenario. And there's no real easy way to convey it's got custom liveries. But I'm also curious if there's even a way to get rid of them now. Let's have a look. So it didn't. Uh, that one doesn't. This will have custom liveries. I wonder if I can actually get rid of them. That's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to edit the timetable. Because I'm thinking maybe I should take the custom liveries out to make sure people can play it. Oh, and then I don't know what it was. Hmm. So I actually have to have a look at what it is, don't I? It's going to be boring. Isn't it? I'm going to have to do them all. And now it's recorded that I double clicked it, not single clicked it, but that's okay because we can exit out again. It's all good. Complete with the screenshot from Vanilla Naz. Very good. I like this screenshot, but I didn't actually know you could take screenshots from inside the loco. So they've done that through something else to submit for the competition, I'd suggest. Wrong. Tools. Scenario planner. And the other thing I wish you could do is copy them before I mess them up. So this is an 8F and 20 box fan, so I need to edit that one. So this needs to stay as an 8F and 20 box fan. So confirm, 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 confirm. And it's going to be an 8F, and it's going to have 20 box fans. And no custom liveries. Confirm. Now we'll have an 8F with planks. That will need to get edited, because it's got custom liveries as well. Confirm, 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 confirm. And this was an 8F with planks, and it must have been 10, because nothing else will fit, and I don't tick anything in there. So they'll all be bog standard, which makes them, from my perspective, a little bit boring. Let's check the, this one and get, actually, just back. What size was that? That was, and five mark ones. Okay. Confirm, confirm, confirm. Because my concern, if I don't do this, is people won't be able to play it, and they'll just think it's crap. Five Mark Ones loaded. Confirm. That's just 33. That's a Jubilee and five Mark Ones. Jubilee and five Mark Ones loaded. That's also a Jubilee in five Mark Ones, but did we do that one? No, we did that one. We need to do this 1131. See, all the rest of the things you can just confirm and go, yeah, I just want to keep what was there, but not with the consists. It's a little inconsistent. 8F, that will have... Custom liveries, no doubt. I know it's a bit more boring without the custom liveries, but... What was that? I can't remember what this one was. Let's make it a mixed. That was that one. That won't be. That won't be. That won't be. That could be. Let's edit that one. That was a Jubilee with some Mark 1s. Jubilee with 5 Mark 1s. That'll be fine. 
done that one. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's another one we have to do. So this is the 11 Edge Hill. And I think I want to chuck in a couple more trains leaving crew as well if I can. If there's any more slots. Jubilee and 10 Mark 1s, I think. Loaded. And then there's Jubilee with 7 Mark 1s. So that's Sefton Crew. This is the one that's in front of us. One that's slowing us down all the time. Jubilee, and it can't have 10, so we'll give it 7. That's the blocker. This is the mixed one. So we'll confirm this one all the way through. This is an 8F mixed. Mixed, loaded. And then we'll have ours, which also needs to be redone because it's got liveries as well. It's an 8F with... Any Mark 1s that I put on it? 10, I think. Can I have 10? No, it doesn't look like I can have 10. All right, we'll give it 9. Uh, whoops, 9 Mark 1s empty. Because it's an empty cars. Now, can I add anything to come out of crew? No, because I've only got the two platforms at crew. I can't put any more in there. But what I might do... Uh, what about Winsford? Can I add one at Winsford? No, because that's our platform and there's already one coming out of Winsford. So what I'll do is I'll find them. So that's a 101. Yeah. You know, I'm not going to mess with the timetable because I'll just muck it up. All right. Time for me to play it again. Yay. I'll leave it running. If you want to watch, you can watch. Don't expect too much exciting conversation, though. I think this is about the eighth time I've run through this. And just confirming, we are a plain old black ATF. That is a plain old Jubilee. That looks like a plain ATF over there, which is good. Very good. I always play through it again, even after only doing minor changes, to um, make sure it works, because there's nothing I hate more than playing someone's scenario and it does something stupid. As it is, I'll have to warn people about those signals. And I didn't open my cylinder cops then, how naughty of me. No point going hard out of here. I'm impressed that you're awake at 4 a.m., mate. 4.30 a.m., I guess. Is that what you're meant to be doing now, Mark B? Yeah, that name's not loading in properly. But there's not much point reporting things like that at this stage in the game. 
earlier on they love to hear about stuff like that but obviously no one noticed that one holiday here today for the uh, young queen's birthday. It's not really her birthday, but we just pretend it is. That'll do. Now if I can keep her just uh, bouncing along here. Without stopping, I won't have to worry about starting on the grade. sign of him yet so we are going to have to stop sit down here and watch our little 09 come along because we won't get to go anywhere until it comes out anyway Tintin might like it. 
probably get made at it too. If I turn off the HUD and turn off my head, here it comes. One piece of promo video done. Maybe I'll do a promo video for the scenario. That'd be cool. This one is green up here, I think, already. Very good. Took a little while to get going there. Express should come charging up behind us pretty soon. Uh, for this one, it's WSR Diesel Legends. Uh, I think it pulls one thing from NTP. D-head and D-mic.
Make sure you watch out for this sneaky signal when playing the scenario. And Farrah, not a stupid question at all. Sorry I didn't answer sooner. I was just recording that bit till I messed it up. Um, no, definitely not a stupid question. Yes, the scenarios are available across all platforms that the game runs on. Yeah, where's that other train? Just trying to stage a parallel run shot if you're wondering.
Oh, maybe I can salvage some of that. Funny how it sounds like the 101s are actually running then, given they're being towed as coaches. So we're coming up to the point where every man and his dog gets out in front of us, aren't we? Let's get up here in front of these signals because we should see there should also be a freight train back there somewhere but I don't see it maybe it's already gone yeah it's already gone because he's on his way out of here missed me chance too slow It's always funny when I forget my face is on and I'm starting recording for something. Yeah, and then pump it up and get moving. Catch the wrong button then. Worked great.
That worked all right. Not too shabby. Let's see if I can get a parallel run in. Oh, I couldn't get one before. Yeah, let's get up to the right height. About there should be good. Best laid plans of mice and men. Actually, he has to stop for me, so I can get up ahead and do one of me passing him, can't I? That's actually better. So if I get up here where his stop signal is, because mine would be green, I think. Is a good rail fan spot. That looks pretty good.
That worked better than I thought it would. I think I'm supposed to... No, I'm not stopping here. Straight through. run corner if I remember right. Because we go out in front now. Not a good angle. But that's okay. moving. No. No, not allowed over there. Bummer. Can't see him or hear him yet. There he is. Hasn't stopped. I don't think I ran that far ahead. Maybe I did run that far ahead. Hmm. Can't hear it whistle yet. Can't see it. It's hiding from me. Oh, it's starting to come up the bank on the hill, though, because it's slowing down. <coughs> Excuse me.
a couple of nice shots out of that one for the uh, scenario promo video. I should be able to go full fang to crew this time. It should be fine. It's taken so long going slow to do promo videos that I should just be able to go flat out now. But it does all seem to be working after those changes and the... Uh, didn't get to see the new freight train we put in there because we were just too slow. a spot that'll be good for the next uh, encounter. Except in a moment I'm going to face plant into a signal box. What's coming? Anything? Yes. There's a little two car train coming along soon. So face off. Should be just around this corner, there should be a train, so I've just started recording.
be good shots there. There we go. Now we've just got to get the crew. That'll just be a flat neck run just to make sure it actually does work. Because there shouldn't be anything in front of us by now. For the people who just joined the stream, I'm um, just test running a scenario that I've built that's going to go up on Creators Club soon. And the whole premise is driving a empty cars relief train from Liverpool to Crewe and up until now there's been a bunch of stuff in front of us but there shouldn't be anything now I've just got a clear out run to Crewe at about 50 odd miles an hour which is about the top speed for a 8F now if you wonder why my head keeps disappearing it's because I'm recording portions of it for a little promo video for it Oh, 
<laughs> we're almost going to hit three. Yeah, we are going to hit three hours by the time we get to crew. Impressive. more good bits.
It's a box. Might be just a little bit quick for that. Who <laughs> knew they did that? Fastest ADF ever. You don't want to know. Maybe you do want to know. Pretty quick. How fast will it go? That's a question. And you know about the yellow signal, should be okay to accrue. Mm. Looks like it can't actually go faster than this. It's trying, but it can't. Look at the sand. No, just can't do it. Better start slowing it down, almost at crew. It'll probably take it four miles to slow down. point miles away from the most silly stream ever. But I hope you lot are enjoying yourselves. a long one. As soon as it finishes, 
sun's out so I can open up part of our roof and go and run a new ethernet cable. Didn't want to do it yesterday because it kept raining. Need a bit of extra networking upstairs. already got the cable up the wall and up into the first part of the roof. Just got to get it over the other side of the house. And hope it's long enough. Point three miles to crew. Welcome, Farah.
Well, there we go again, and it worked. So I will upload to Creators Club with my screenshots. Now that I know it works, he's good. Uh, back out of here, Creators Club. My mods. Add. Ah, uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? ATF Relief to Crew. There it is. Name. It's IF, isn't it? Ah, uh, what do we got? UK. We've got slow, we've got fast, where's fast, fast, there it is. We've got steam, because you get everything. Ah, uh, what else have we got? Mainline, that'll do. Yeah, that'll do. Description. I can bridge, just fix this here. Okay. Yeah, please. Especially first depart and. Can you use tea bag or new tea bag? New one, please. Hopefully, that's not too long. Screenshots. Yeah, hopefully um, Tintin will like it. Let me say hello to my wife there. So, screenshots. Hmm. It didn't pick up most of the ones I took. That's okay. We got a nice... Uh, that's a bit false advertising though, isn't it? Because it hasn't got those liveries in it. Ah, uh, sigh. Well, we'll use them anyway. Why not? What can you do, eh? What can you do? Confirm. Submit. Scroll, 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 scroll. Legal babble. Accept and publish. Okay. Return to the hub. Well, now I'll go and make a promo video for it. Someone's just joined the stream now. <laughs> Three and a bit hours in and we finish it up. We publish the scenario. We're all done and someone's joined now. Oh, well. That's how things go, I guess. And you got to very briefly meet my other half. So if you want to play any of my other scenarios, you know, free plug. There's a few. Just a few. Any more? No, I've only got 12. All right, fix that. I need to have 13. Oh no, I've only got 11 actually, because one of these holes is empty. Hmm, need more, don't we? Anyway, all good. So enjoy yourselves. Um, I will, let me just go and find my profile on Dovetail Live and I'll get you a link because it should have turned up on the website by now. So, Games. When it loads, when it loads, come on, load, load, come on, load. Oh, what's going on? What is going on? There it is. Ah, muffin as well. Thank you. Bring this thing over here and... So I thought it was live dot dot Maybe it's not. Maybe it's Creators Club or something silly. Ha! Creators Club. There we go. I could just bookmark this, couldn't I? You have no mods. Bet you I do. Aha! Okay. Where is it? Where is it? There it is. So just to make it easier for Mr. Tintin. Come on. Load it up. There we go. 
There's a link to the thing that we just played twice and I've played about 12 times since I first started making it. That's a lot. Created four minutes ago, updated two minutes ago. I guess that was the publish. But anyway, all good. So jump on it if you enjoy it. Have fun with it. There are a little bit of work to make, but, you know, it's fun. It's good. So thank you for coming along for the ride, and I hope you at least found that vaguely entertaining. And I will be streaming something on Sunday. I don't quite know what yet, but I will be giving away a PlayStation key for Spirit of Steam. And if it's a non-US person, they'll get it on the day. If it's a US person, I'll have to swap it for a US key because they're different apparently. But that's all good. Anyway, enjoy yourselves. Thanks for being around and see you on the next one. Bye now. Thanks for watching, folks. I hope you enjoyed it. I always like to get your feedback in the form of likes and comments because they help me understand what you want. Give the channel a subscribe and click on the tinkly things so you don't miss out on any new stuff. And thanks for your ongoing support. And please, be safe out there.